What is it for you um, if you compare your solo work to Gravity 6? Um, is it something that you more enjoy now? Uh, I'm more proud of Graffiti 6, uh, funny enough. Um, <clears throat> I think the older I get, the better my songwriting becomes anyway. So chronologically, I think the, the songwriting is better than my first record. Um, um, to play, you know, it's funny because naturally I wouldn't sit down and write um, the music the songs, I wouldn't naturally sit down and write, if I just had a guitar in my hand, the songs of Graffiti 6. I would probably naturally sit down and write more folk blues, like my first record. So to play, it's a bit of a tricky one because I love it. I, I absolutely love playing live Graffiti 6, but it might not feel as natural to me as, as just standing up there with a the guitar singing a folk song. But it definitely brought out an element um, of the, the soul music that I grew up in. Um, uh, you know, Donny Hathaway, Kurt Smithfield. I listened to all those because my dad was a, a massive fan of those guys. And um, Graffiti Six definitely uh, draws the line between um, the folk and the soul. And that's what really is special for me about it because it, I can get everything out in it, you know. But do, do you write your songs differently now with Graffiti Six when knowing that it will be a song for Graffiti Yeah, Six? definitely. Um, well, actually, yeah, having said that, Goodbye Jeffrey Drake was just written. Goodbye Jeffrey Drake could be on a, on, a, on a folk record, I think. The only difference is uh, uh, Tommy put his kind of uh, drum beat behind it and it suddenly sounded like a Graffiti Six song. So I think I do and I don't. I think that some of the record we wrote, we wrote, we wrote just like, you know, we, we just put, we just jammed in the studio. And I never did that for my own record. My, every, my own record, um, solo stuff was just me and a guitar, me and a piano, and I wrote the songs and that was it. A lot of the songs on the Graffiti Six record are like that, but there are a few that we just like. This man, colours, calm the storm. We just picked up an instrument and started jamming, and kind of slowly put the thing together. Okay. Did you learn something songwriting-wise from from him? Um, <clears throat> I think you. I learnt. I learnt things in every aspect of music. I think that's the whole point. I think I wouldn't enjoy it if I wasn't learning something like that. You know, um, when you meet someone like that, you definitely. Um, that you click with, you definitely learn things from each other, I think. And I think that um, it's not about learning new things, I think, with songwriting. I think it's, it's exploring things you wouldn't do. That's really, um, that's the only real point of writing with someone, if they bring something to the songwriting that you naturally wouldn't do. Um, um, otherwise, you might as well write by yourself. Um, so, uh, yeah, there's a few, a few things. Um, it's hard to recall because we wrote the record like three years ago. I can't exactly remember to the point, but there was a few things that we did. I was like, oh, okay, I wouldn't necessarily done that. And now, you know, I love on the record. So. And do you write songs now together for a new album? We uh, we've started. We've we started about a month ago. We we've only written three or four because we've been so busy with uh, with touring and stuff. And I think that uh, we've only really did now after starting in Europe and going to America, we've only just really coming back to Europe now yeah. with this record still, um, and obviously being on EMI. So it's, um, it's still kind of in the process of this record at the moment, but we have, we have started writing a little bit. <laughs> 